I was delighted on behalf of my co-authors to be able to present the M9140 uh, study at ASCO uh, this year. Uh, this is a first in human trial of an anti-CCAM5 antibody drug conjugate that used exotecan uh, payload. And this was done uh, in metastatic colorectal cancer uh, patients. Uh, this is recognizing that CCAM5 is uh, expressed on the vast majority of uh, colorectal cancers and really uh, provides specificity for colorectal cancer and therefore is a really an attractive uh, ADC target given its lower expression in normal, uh, normal tissues. The agent, M9140, uh, as mentioned, is a, uh, is a CCAM5-specific antibody. It has a cleavable uh, beta-glucuronide linker that's stable in circulation and released in the tumor, so there is some bystander effect with it. It is a, uh, a silenced uh, FC backbone and has an 8 to 1 uh, drug to antibody ratio. So it's felt to be a kind of an optimal uh, uh, an antibody uh, drug conjugate uh, for our patient population. So we study this in a dose escalation study in patients with uh, disease that was uh, progressed and refractory to standard therapies. Um, this is a uh, IV once every three week regimen. Patients were not selected for CCAM5 uh, expression, just given the high uh, levels of um, of expression uh, in colorectal cancer. Uh, the 80% of patients were treated in fourth line or beyond. And all of these patients, importantly, had prior arena TCAN exposure. And so this is important because exotecan, the, the, uh, the payload of the ADC is a top isomerase inhibitor like arena TCAN. And so just acknowledging that this is a, uh, a prior top isomerase uh, refractory population. Um, the dose-limiting toxicities were uh, predominantly hematologic uh, at the higher uh, levels, and the uh, encouragingly, there were no um, events of ocular toxicity or interstitial lung disease, which are uh, toxicities that have been seen with uh, ADCs and, and can be problematic uh, in the clinic. Um, also, just acknowledging the uh, linker performance, uh, there was very low rates of uh, more traditional uh, toxicities from topoisomerase, so the nausea, vomiting, diarrhea were uh, grade one and two only, really no grade three or above for those. The pharmacokinetics uh, were favorable, uh, dose proportional. Um, and uh, showed that the uh, linker performed well. So there's very low levels of free uh, exotecan in, uh, in circulation, more than three log difference uh, between that. So it's suggesting uh, good performance uh, of the, uh, the moiety. The response uh, data uh, showed that uh, of the uh, uh, of the patients that were uh, that were treated on the there's 40 patients that were enrolled. Um, we had uh, dose reductions uh, in uh, four patients, I'm sorry, uh, tumor reductions in four patients. Uh, an additional uh, patient was seen even after the data cut off um, and had a very good uh, disease uh, control rate um, as well. And this, uh, the, this activity uh, was seen across all the, uh, the, different, um, uh, the uh, different expression levels of CCAM5, really reflecting, as mentioned, that uh, that's this expression is high in colorectal cancer. Encouragingly, the, uh, the, dur the duration of uh, treatment uh, was favorable, and we had about a quarter of patients who stayed on treatment uh, for six months um, at uh, the active dose levels of 2.4 or above. And the median progression-free survival, all comers, was 6.6 .6 months, uh, which is certainly very encouraging for patients in with uh, fourth line and beyond uh, disease. And this was higher for those treated at the, uh, at the doses of 2.4 or above compared to those uh, under. So we are encouraged uh, by this, uh, this phase one study, really demonstrated manageable predictive safety uh, toxicity, really no interstitial lung disease, no ocular toxicities, low GI toxicity. The MTD was declared as a 2.8, and both the 2.4 mg per kg and the 2.8 will be selected for ongoing uh, randomized dose optimization. But based on the uh, doses uh, received at 2.4 and above, we had a disease control rate of 70%, uh, progression-free survival in that cohort of, of 6.7 months. So really the sense that 
there indeed is clinical activity, uh, both as monotherapy and, uh, and combinations are uh, continuing in the expansion of the study as well.